Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build the best log catcher possible. Now it looks simple, but it's not. It's quite complex, so I recommend you watch the entire video so you can actually work out how to do it. It's not just building a gazebo. You need to take heights and measurements into consideration, as well as building other things to make it work. And their placement is very important. Now, I didn't come up with this one. Our Lord and Savior Zebulon came up with it. He calls it the Nest. N-E-S-T. The Nest. I think it's a great name for it. I've personally tested about 10 times and it does work. You've just got to do it right. And many people in my Discord have tested it and it's worked for them. How it works is placing the zip line first, then building a gazebo, making the line go through the middle pillar of the gazebo. And then you build pillars at each window to block it in. Now you don't have to build pillars. I managed to test a design where you can use log holders, large log holders, and it works rather well. I couldn't really tell a difference which one was working better. They seem to work equally as good. It just depends on what look you want to go for. Logs are cheaper, though log holders you can store the logs afterwards. I'll show you both ways. Now I've spent a lot of time testing trying to get other ways of getting it to work. There's something about the gazebo that just makes it work. They don't explode. And I've tested quite a few designs. The problem is, is that when they reach their destination, they all explode. Placing it in the gazebo for some reason, they don't explode. Even when there's plenty of room, they still will explode. I tried building a house, that didn't work. I tried building a floating zip line like I used to, that doesn't work either. I tried using a custom foundation. I thought this might be actually a good idea, but no, they keep exploding. Now you can use stick fences for it. This was Zebulon's original idea, though it's much more expensive. Here's a version that doesn't work because I blocked the opening. Do not block the opening, <laughs> otherwise they will explode. And if you place the log pillar in the way, they will also explode. And I never learned my lesson with this one. I kept building a log pillar block in the way for some reason. I just wasn't paying attention. Now before we get into it, don't build the gazebo on top of the zip line. That doesn't work. I tried, trust me, it doesn't work. Now if you're wondering if this works with a dual zip line method, it might, though with my efforts, I wasn't able to get it working. I think the reason being is that you have to have two openings for it and you only can have one really. If you have more than two, the logs will escape. And as you can see, I still can't learn my lesson. I built pillars here. They're sending them down. They don't go fully inside the catcher. I'm not sure why. And I tried the other one, ran into a tree, <laughs> but they still did the same thing. They exploded. So a dual one is out of the question, I believe. Though if you come up with it, leave it in the comments. I would appreciate it. And leave a link if you've got a video of it. But without further ado, this is how you do it. First, you place the zip line. And what we recommend you do, I'm speaking on the behalf of Zebulon here, is place the zip line a little bit lower than what the gazebo would be. The reason being is that you don't have to place the gazebo as high. You could have it at ground floor. Though if your zip line's at level, you might have to put the gazebo up a bit higher to make it fit. Once the zip line's completed, get the gazebo out. What I like to do is I like to stand behind the zip line and try to align the middle pillar with the rope. It just seems much easier to do it this way. Make sure the door of the gazebo isn't facing towards the entrance point. You want it off to the side. You need it to come through the window because otherwise it doesn't work properly. If you have it through the window, you can actually escape and get inside the gazebo. Once you've aligned it and placed it, make sure you save before doing any of this because it is very easy to stuff this up. I recommend doing it in creative mode or with build hack first so you can learn how it works. If you get it right the first time, you're probably a legend and you should take over my channel. Because <laughs> seriously, it's a pain to learn this. On this one, I'm gonna do the log pillar method. So what you do is get the custom wall out and turn off automatic mode, click and move to the side and you'll place a single pillar. Try and place it between the two other pillars that you're trying to get it between. If you hold down control and do it, it will place and then you can place another. You just have to press C to get it out of automatic mode again. Try and be as accurate as you can. If there's too much of a gap, you might have issues. I haven't tried using more than one log to block away. I don't know if it would help. More testing is always welcome. Let us know in the comments how it goes. We place two over the door. It kind of needs that. As you can see, the window there is open so the logs can come in. And I recommend exiting before finishing the last one on the door, just so you can get in and out again. It doesn't matter what's happening behind it. You can block that part of the rope. Once you've inspected it, go back up and start testing it. 
Now, this is a tip you need to know if you're not sure. You can only have 50 logs on the ground before they start despawning. So only take 50 logs or less down the zip line. It equates to about 10 or more trees. Or an easy reference is four log sleds worth of logs. 12 times four is 48, I think. Once you've sent your 50 logs down, you can jump on and check it out. A few logs escaped. Sometimes you'll get it better than others, but there you go. Even my ones from my other seasons didn't work that well. Now I'm just gonna show you how to do it again, just to make sure it's clear, because it is quite difficult to do. And I'm also gonna be showing you how to use the log holder method on this one. Once you've got the zip line there and placed it, and do the same thing again, place it over. I don't know why, but I tend to face the door out to the right side. That doesn't really mean anything. If you place the gazebo first, you cannot place the zip line through it. It just won't build because there's collision that way. If you have mod API, you can turn off collision. I don't believe you can turn off collision in console commands. Now I always like to check the blueprint first to make sure it's all aligned and then I build it. And unfortunately when I was building this one, I placed it on the edge of a rock. So I had to kind of work with it. It was on a bit of an angle, but that doesn't matter. Essentially, I just place it on the edges of the gazebo. You can have gaps, not big ones though. You'll probably have to place one inside another one to make it fit. Now, I haven't tested this with the tree zip line. I don't know anyone who builds them because armsies can take down trees with one hit and that's just not fun. And then make sure you upgrade them before you complete them. Once that's done, build them all. And then you're done. It's ready for testing. So head back up. Send the logs down. I'll send 50. And then I'll jump on. And then here we go. Okay, there was one that went completely astray. But the rest were pretty good. There's about five that just dropped out a little bit. And the benefit of this one is that you can place it on the log holders there. Just go with whatever look you want. As always, it is up to the individual. Zebulon deserves all the credit for this one. It was all his work. Except for the log holder idea, I came up with that. This is an awesome catcher. I've never seen anything this good. On the last note, make sure the zipline rope sits below the gazebo roof. Just below. If it's too low, it will collide with the fence. If you aim too high, you will collide with the roof. You've got a lot of leeway, so don't worry about it too much. Just keep it in mind. Now, I believe the developers are on a bit of a crusade at the moment to fix exploits, which is rather annoying because there's plenty of bugs they could be fixing, but they're going after exploits. So I don't know how long this will be around for. They need to introduce a better system or allow this to work better. This exploit is more realistic than their system. The logs don't explode here. In real life, they wouldn't explode. So hopefully they don't change anything. I've never asked a favor from the developers, but here is one. Please don't fix this. I class this as a fix for your game. Anyway, if you have any questions or you're struggling with this one, make sure you leave them in the comments or talk to me on my Discord. And if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.